You know, when I think about integrity, I think about what God promises with that and how mm. integrity is not really um, valued as much as it should be because there's so many covenant promises with God when we walk in integrity. He promises us that we'll walk securely. I love the scripture where he says, when you walk in integrity, you are storing that up for your children. Yeah. You know, and I think about that because children, I always like to say, more is caught than taught. Yeah. yeah, You know, as we live our life, we may not be making the right choices all the time and they are catching that. They're like little video recorders on legs. Right. And so you can't really hide in your home uh, if you don't walk in integrity, if you don't talk nicely about people, if you don't treat people correctly, like even in the grocery store, yeah. the checker, you know, the person who's bagging your groceries or Wherever, I think we should always represent God first for God to please Him, but also to build a foundation for our children and our family. But I think we have to work on like being integral within ourselves when no one is watching right. yeah. because that's how it's so easy to just be who you are yeah. in the grocery mm -hmm. store with your friends. And right. integrity is a huge subject because there's so many uh, facets to it and so many ways to be, to have integrity. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the, the word integrity is a mathematical term and it means wholeness. So like the number one, number two, number three, those are whole numbers, like half or three quarters is not a whole number. And so when you take that term and you apply it to relationships, our head, our heart, and our feelings if those three things are not lined up together, if our head doesn't match our heart, the way we think doesn't match our heart, our feelings, and then our feelings don't match what we do, then we're less than integrous. Yeah. So if we look at our relationships, when some people say, you know, say something, but they don't do it, or some people will do something and not mean what they say. And so when those things are out of line, mm -hmm. then we as individuals are, are less than integrous. In fact, all of the book of Proverbs center around those three things. Yeah. And that's why integrity becomes a really, really important thing. Jesus talked about, we say something with our mouth, but in our heart, we don't do it. Yeah. So we're less than integrous when we do that. And then also James said, we shouldn't just be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. So we have to have the head, the heart, and the mind lined up. That allows us to be whole. Yeah. We use the word integrity, but it's really about wholeness. And you talk about in the home, you know, if what we do is different, then that's less than being integrous as far as we are as Just have an honesty in your heart. Yes. You know, uh, that's what I think about. Are you honest in your yeah. heart, you know, to the people that you deal with? Because there's a scripture that says, you can come boldly to the throne of God grace. Yes. Well, the only way I can really feel confident in the presence of God is when I'm honest in my yeah. heart. Yeah. You know, if I make a mistake, if I say something wrong, if I'm less integral, then I can repent of that yeah. and I can come boldly to God. And I think we all can check ourselves every single day. And maybe we didn't hit the mark every day. Maybe we could have withheld good when it was in our power to give it. I mean, that's what the scripture talks about. But I really think how and why we have integrity is so important. What's the motivating force behind that integrity? Yeah. What drives us, you know? And so I think that's so important that we that do have benchmarks yeah. why we need to be, you know, honest within ourselves. And yes. I love that wholeness because if your heart's saying one thing and your mouth is saying another, mm -hmm. I think people right. recognize that eventually yeah, absolutely. too. Absolutely, and even being quick to pick up when they don't connect, to be able to be open. Like you mentioned your kids and watching in the home, when you miss the mark, when your heart and your mind and your actions don't line up, to be able to be quick to repent about it. Like I have to do that with my kids. If something doesn't line up, I'm like, Ooh, mommy missed it with that one. Like yeah, this yeah. is, we gotta run this back and try again so they'll know. Yeah. Like we strive hard for integrity. We never stop striving to reach the mark. And I, I tell my son, he's 11 now, and I'm just like, who you are when you're by yourself is who you are. Yes, yeah. You know, and you wanna make sure you remain the same. Like the person who you are when you are completely alone, 
Yes. It's who you are. Like, people will end up seeing eventually, <laughs> you know, even if you try to act or you try to put on this show, eventually it will come out. And it's just so important to remain the same. I'm a Christian still today because my parents were integral. Yeah. They were the same on the pulpit as they were at home, yeah. as they were when they thought no one was watching them, but I was. And yeah. because of that, I'm able to, you know, stand up and proclaim, you know, profess yeah. Jesus because I'm like, yes, so my parents, you know, were integral. So it's important to model that for sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.